up guys? Welcome to Hero Base, a place where we talk about bass, bass gear, music related topics. My name is Norm and I hope you guys are doing awesomely well. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about how to get rid of a little bit of the weight of your instrument. I'm going to start with the one I've not done for a few simple reasons. I don't want to make any extra holes on the bass, but I've seen these videos and I'm going to put some pictures around here of basses that they take the pick guard out and they drill some holes in it. Simply that's it. They just take some of the mass of the body out. Now, I'm not typically fond of that because I feel like that can change the tone of the wood and that's a whole nother video. But I feel like it could change the way we the instrument sound. The resonance and all that sort of thing might not be there. But then again, who am I to say? Because I haven't tried that one out. But I've seen a lot of people done that. Um, I haven't gather the guts to do something similar to that. So anyway, that's way number one. Uh, way number two, try to sand the neck. If it's really a neck heavy bass, and you know if it's a neck heavy bass, just because when you wear it, it tilts that way. So all the weight is on the neck, right? It's my experience, and this is the way I think about these things. I'm gonna say like a good chunk of the tone you get out of your bass, most likely it starts with the neck. And if you shave a lot of it, really hurt, again, the tone of your instrument, that truss rod inside is going to move some other way, some other weird way, and it might break, you know, the neck itself. So the closest I've come is to take steel wool, go over the neck just to get some of the dirt out of it. In return, sometimes you, you take a little bit off of it, but it's not even significant to that um, degree of just having it really slim down. Way number three that can help you at least feel that you have taken off some weight is have a wider strap. I went to my local guitar center and I bought this strap. I know it's really wide. It's almost four inches wide. And this is, and it's pad, well padded, uh, super great, you know, strap and all. It distributes the weight really well on my shoulder and it, the weight is still there. Um, another thing I would suggest you guys take consideration if you have any type of back injuries like myself find a bass that's suited a bass that you can play for an hour or even more when you're practicing and all that sort of stuff i have my trusty stingray rocky and that's a nine pound ish that's the one i use for everything when i'm playing live when recording if i do a lot of stuff the reason i'm doing this video is because this is one of my favorite bases right this is a ray 35 and ever since i saw this color i fell in love with it it's kind of a heavy one it's like a tank. It was almost 12 pounds. The reason I'm doing this video is because I shave a pound from it by doing this one other thing show you in my list. Way number four that I found out that's extremely helpful is by changing the hardware. I took the knobs out and these are aluminum knobs. They look pretty cool on the base and all, but they are pretty much half of the weight the other ones were. And that was not the only thing I did to this base. Cha-ching. Here's your money zone. I took the tuners out Replace them with these um, hip shot tuners, uh, ultra light tuners. I'm gonna leave a, this, a link in the description below for these. Um, I got these from Stumac. The guys at Stumac, super awesome. Send them a picture of the, the headstock. They say these will work, so I ordered them. I had a buddy of mine doing it because I'm afraid I might drill something wrong, but you can still see the holes from you know the other tuners that were left there, but nothing cosmetically that's gonna kill me. And like I said, these are ultra light tuners. The combination of taking off the knobs and changing up the tuners, it took a whole pound off the base. So this base was 11.6 pounds, and now it's 10.6 or 5-ish. That was one of the things I did, and that helped me immensely. It was really, it was worth it. Also, I haven't talked about it, the bridge. You can change the bridge. Um, in my case, I really, really am a sucker for Music Man bridges. I don't know why. Probably is the look, probably is the amount of sustain you can get from these suckers, but I really love these. So if I were to change this, I know I would get another probably less than half a pound or another half poundish out of this. But um, yeah, this is this is another thing you can change the bridge. There you have four ways to get rid of some of the weight. Anyway, guys, if you have any more questions, if you have any more suggestions um, on how to make your base a bit lighter, please leave them in the description below. I'd love to hear what you got so that way I can give it a shot with this base. So anyway guys, thank you for checking out this video. If you like this type of content, hit that like button, share this content, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every single time we drop a video. Also, you can check us out in all our other social medias, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and we will see you guys in the next one.